Third year, the West Coast. And the first play is complete with some running room for Marcus Freeman. Born in Columbus, he never really saw himself as a Buckeye. Underneath the Draymond McKnight. Oh, for the Fighting Irish. Conservative call so far, third and nine. Pressure incomplete. Five yard line, and out of the shotgun. Three wide, quick toss out. And Fabu Tahi with a lot of room, and a gain of at least no part of. Keeping back on an option, look, slide. Find what he might have been able to do in baseball. He had a 93-mile-an-hour fastball in high school. First deep ball of the season. At the five-yard line, Todd Watkins. J.C. to Brigham Young and immediately burns the Irish. Todd Watkins showing that 4-3-8 speed. He runs right by Carlos Campbell. As the Irish are now convinced. First and goal from the five. And out of the gun, the give for the touchdown to Tahi. Irish go out of the eye and get Travis Thomas out wide left. Instead, they throw underneath right side. Maurice Stovall breaking some tackles. Seven down and six, another underneath hit to McKnight this time, and the Cougar. And Beck with the change perhaps at the line. The out pass, but the basic idea. So it, it remains a matter of contention. That's almost a backwards pass, and it's turned into nice yard. Debate at any school that's playing at the highest level, especially with a Notre Dame type schedule, it also has very rigorous academic restrictions. Anytime soon, they're scheduled up to 2012, and they don't get the yardage. David Dory, Alex Flanagan on the sidelines. On the swing pass, Tahi takes the choose in terms of scheduling. Compared to Notre Dame, everybody says Minnesota schedules way too easy. 34 the Irish. John Beck showing an early hot hand. And some quick legs and cuts it back inside for a first down to the third. Going to need 11. Almost a backwards pass. Curtis Brown. Cougars make it. They fake in the lot of room over the middle for Travis Thomas. One of the best plays. This has been pretty much the total of the passing game. Swing passes and hope they can get him into the game. As of yet, they have not. And on third and seven, trouble, but a strike to possibilities from Stovall. 6'5, 221. Back to the ground game, off tackle. Travis Thomas. And at the bottom of that pile, the Cougars saying they have taken it away, and they have. Well, back here, and another swing pass, Curtis Brown. When it comes to the heart, you're always better safe than sorry, Dave. Absolutely. And trouble on third and 17, and the biggest. Marcus Wilson will have the first down. New leader. Lady Quinn. Again, has to settle for Welcome to Provo, Utah. 10-0 BYU. And from his own goal line, Brady Quinn completes the rush. When you talk to Bronco, he said, I reverse the process coaching defense. I don't coach technique first. I coach wild, fanatical effort. Missed the first quarter. This game feels like much more than 10-0 BYU. Almost a safety. We will assume it was just to get him a snap, not the experience to his right shoulder. That pop put him out of the game. Steam yard per exchange advantage in net punter for BYU. Matt Berry have had to deal with holding BYU to 10. Very impressive. Todd Watkins. The SEC, the debut of an African American coach, a victorious one for Sylvester Croom, as McCroom feels like him. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, after this play, I'll respond. On 
second and three to Marcus Freeman. A coach at Alabama, the entire family became part of the Curry family. We just love them and so happy for Sylvester to get off to the kind of start. Luger showing the pressure. It is picked up nicely. Catch made. First down. Great seconds. Win. Fake. For McKnight. First the NFL. If he gets pushed out of bounds when he's in the air, this is not a catch in college football. Let's see if he gets a foot down. Wow, that is close. That is a beautiful play. He got the right foot down just inside. Come on. Bill Curry, you're not that old. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Did not have been more against Notre Dame in the first half. There's a good pass and the best strike. Working on a BYU defense among the top 14 in the country last year because of plays like that. Have come out the second half and fall prey to it again. That's not good adjustments at the halftime. All day, but they have to settle for the short toss. Fred look on second and nine. And the swing pass to Curtis Brown. First man misses. Absolutely. I have to point that out for you. Thank you. Offensive center. Deep middle and caught. Coach has been covered pretty well tonight. From the Utah High School Player of the Year. Now back to the ground. Fumble. Recovered. Finally by Notre Dame. I want to do is get loose with the football. And Tahi didn't look like he had that football secured. A nice play by Derek Curry to scoop the football. Actually, a better throw on that play. So second and ten. And they run Marcus Wilson. Unsuccessful pace. It's pretty obvious BYU will have to do without their starting quarterback back the rest of the night. Making the first man miss. Grady Papinga from Evanston, Wyoming, preseason unanimous all mount football almost as much. He said, I just love this defense. I'm running over this little back here. I can't be picked up by Jeff Jenkins and Jeff Jenkins. Third and six. And the out. First out, Daniel Coates again. Both catches. Program that was so ready for the season to finally start. Deep, wide open, caught, touchdown, Austin Crowley. 42 yards for the touchdown. Football game, Beck hit Watkins on a 50-yard bomb. And then here, Matt Berry gets back, gets the ball up early. And that's just a beautiful play by Austin Cauley to stretch out and make a fingertip grab. He ran right by a squatting cornerback. That's twice that Carlos Campbell has been victimized on dealing by 17. First and 15. Quinn. This time hits Stovall. And best field position they've had on a takeover all evening. Plenty of time. Quinn, there's no way that's going to turn into the dominance it enjoyed under your tenure. Well, I don't know if you'll ever see that again. It's pretty tough, and it's a different period of time right now, and I think the... Successful uh, coach. Oh, I think it can be done, and I think that uh, they will do it. I think, you know, it's one of the problems we have is that... Uh, yeah, and if you want to have an influence, and Lavelle was able to do that, too. He was doing it at a time where everybody tried to get a run 80% of the time. Here's a play, a play that Knight can look at that went his way, and in fact, it goes all the way. 54. It's like to be on uh, the regretful side of headlines. And this has been a very difficult offseason for the BYU. Difficult on him and the program. Well, after this play, I respond. And that club doesn't complain. You just hear Gary Croton and Lavelle say, well, if we have to deal with it, we have to deal with it. Cougars getting some mileage now out of the underneath toss. Virginia, one of the six teams that Luke Corso predicted to play for the national championship <laughs> in the Orange Bowl this year. Todd, one minute mark, quartered under three. On the blitz, he's down. Never saw. From the inside against the blitz. Caught and now. 
Anthony Fasano turns it into a huge gainer across. Got a funny feeling that ain't going to happen. The toss and McKnight reaches. I don't think back. back in shape with the change. Safety blitz. And he loses it and gets it off to the 40-yard line of the. This time blitz from the other side. And they got it at the 33. Daniel Mark. This time to prepare. And you got a third and 17. They come at the point again underneath McKnight. Can't make the first man miss. Even if he had BYU ground game, though, showing it's got a long way to improve, too. Over the middle, and because of the broken tackle, consistently to the top ten. Oh, I think that's a fact. I really do. And he's proven that he knows. Uh-oh, look at here. Big pick coming back. Preston Jackson. Touchdown, Notre Dame. 38 yards. His face, he wants everybody to know he didn't mean to hit him with his head. And look at Matt Berry, the eyes selling the pass. You've got to account for the danger on the outside, especially with a 10-point lead and eight minutes to go in the football game. That is a throw that you do not make. 231 yards in this very matchup in South Bend last year. With the Berry sacked at the 23-yard line. The jamming. Lavelle Edwards stayed even further. And the Isle is starting to give to Marcus Wilson. Slips a tackle. They made with Tyler and Willingham. It's a first and 15. And the short pass to Rashawn. And Barry with a no chance screen pass. Again, three wide shotgun. Well protected. And complete. And Fasano. Again, well protected and complete. Not for much this time for Marcus Freeman. Confidence that the defense could get it done. Larry Croton, though, ready to air this one out for Kyle Watkins, and there's got to be a flag, and there it is. It's intercepted. It's like a punt on third down. And the problem here is Alec does not get his eyes back. To but what we do know is. In its second visit ever to Utah, Notre Dame comes away with a stretch of 10 losses.